Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Now, you can curb your enthusiasm a little bit because maybe this will be less good than usual Kirby. It's not. It's going to be great. Oh, fuck. Illusion ruined. I'm sorry, listen. I can't play this game on anything other than Babby mode. Why did they have to go so hard on these cutscenes, though? Look how good the quality of these cutscenes are for Kirby. I mean, we have an emote of that in chat right now because of that cutscene. And we've already seen this, if, but if you haven't, it's just a, a good Kirby game done right in the third dimension. So some of this early stuff will be a little bit repeated because we're going to, you know, see the demo stuff, but I'm, ex I'm excited to see the rest of the game. Kirby is here. Someone said, I dislike Kirby. Sorry, I dislike Kirby. I enjoy Kirby. The duality of chat is in full effect. We've just started, and Kirby's already committing war crimes. Oh, there's vocals. <laughs> the song. <laughs> While Kirby is... is uh, commandeering a car with his skin. Last time I played this uh, in the demo, I said there was a new Pokemon that just dropped. Ear Squirrel. Okay, Nintendo, you're forgiven for all of your video game crimes over the past couple years. You made a cute new Kirby game. The problem is, look at the frame rates on those cannonballs. That's how they, that's how they get you. Yeah, they promise you 1080p, and then you look in the distance and suddenly... Then you suddenly get 3 FPS on cannonballs. Game is shit. 0 out of 10. Can't play it. Can't lose merge merge. So Kirby games are traditionally, I think most of us would know that most Kirby games are not going to test all of your skills. And you're going to have a pretty decent time through most of it. Especially the early levels, baby. But, as I've discovered, in most of the later Kirby games, there's a lot of stuff that reminds me of the Mario games, where you finish the game, or you get to the end, and then suddenly there's a sharp difficulty spike for a lot of the extra stuff. There's a... Um, I think it was Star Allies. I just gave up. So t sometimes that happens. But, yeah, no, these are not the most difficult games. These are... I, I like to... When I play Kirby games, I like to collect, fly, and chill. It died. It... Where'd it, where'd it go? It, it, is, it, is it dead? Bye! I, for one, am glad it's dead. Also, uh, for those wondering, the cover of this game is not, in fact, Angry Kirby. Kirby just looks inquisitive about the distance. I'm calling it now. Alpha Lin is the, the final boss of this game. Waddle D Cinema is now open. Rewatch some memorable scenes on the big screen. Can I watch Spider Man in there? Not food. Which movie would you like to watch, Kirby? I want to watch Spider Man. Do you have any adult films? Uh. When do you unlock the underground meth lab underneath the laundromat? 100%? Kirby, we need to cook! Vinny, do you think it's weird that Kirby only has 12 abilities in this game? Well, I didn't know there were only 12, but considering it's a new style of Kirby game, and you can upgrade each ability, I don't mind so much. I feel like if they do a Forgotten Land 2, then we would probably end up getting back to like 20 abilities. Ban that guy. I don't know, I feel like maybe that was a little bit of a juicy comment intended to provoke. Like... Yeah, game kind of sucks, don't you? Don't you agree? It's a little, little plumpy of a comment, even maybe. But no, I mean, there's upgrades for each one. I think two upgrades per. So it seems like there's a decent variety, accounting for that as well. I have a question for anyone who's played this. Did I miss one lantern already? Is it ahead or is it be is it behind? I missed one at the start. <sighs> I guess we'll never get the true ending now. 
no. What do you mean, stairs? What do you mean, stairs? No! Look at Kirby's face! <laughs> I was like, what do you do with these? You can't- you are the stairs, you can't climb them. Now I know. That's so good. I, how is Kirby even walking? Those feet is so small. Flattening wonderfully cute animal friends. Just flattening them. Just fucking destroying them. Why do you do this, Kirby? Maybe you're not the hero. Kirby anti-hero confirmed. Uh... Hey, Link, it's me, Fledge! Have you tried mouthful mode yet? Uh. That's weird. Oh, because it spits. It's, it spits, everybody. Oh, don't worry, Link, I don't spit. No! Oh, why did I say that? Fuck! Good, yep, just get stun locked into a wall, Kirby. Very smart. But they're working. Time to burn the whole thing down and then smile. What do you mean vending machine Kirby can't fly? Yeah, that's good. Someone said, here's hoping there's Walmart DLC. The ruins of an abandoned Walmart. Whoa, gun? Gun Kirby! Mental. Next Smash Brothers game, whenever that is. Please give Kirby a gun. No. No. I thought that would still be there. They're very generous with the falling in pit. Oh, you lose money? I guess that makes more sense than having a life system. Oh, Carby wasn't just a one-time thing. <laughs> oh no! Slow the fuck down, man. The game will actually slow you down for yourself. If you fall off a cliff several times in a row, it will actually, like, stop you for a second, so you have to, like, take a minute to think about what you've done to poor Kirby. I'm still missing one secret. Oh, man. Vinny, you failed it? Please save that poor Waddle D. No, that- I'm sorry to say, but long after this game is complete, that Waddle D will linger forever in this abandoned wasteland of death and sadness. Starving to death in a cage. Now that'll make you, like, really want to save Waddle Dees. If they gave you that part of the story, like what happens to them if you don't save them. Just don't think about it. That's all. Don't think about what happens to poor Waddle Dee. Stuck in a cage, like a rat in a cage. Despite all his rage. Kirby, it's me, Waddle D. I'm stuck in a small box. Kirby, it's me, Waddle D. I'm in a little box. Can you get me out of this little box? Please help. Kirby. Kirby. Now you'll hear it. It's just a little spicy. That's all. It's a spicy chord. You'll you'll hear it in a second. Wow, good, good. Why isn't there gyro aiming? Fuck! Kirby in an abandoned mall. 
Is this my dream game? So, my first Kirby game was the first one on Game Boy when he was a little white ghost. And uh, I love that game, but I didn't know for years that Kirby was evolving into a character that could, like, suck enemy abilities. So, years later, I rented Kirby's Adventure on the NES, and I was like, wait, why can Kirby use the sword? Why doesn't my Kirby game do this? So, it wasn't until Kirby Superstar that I really... And I didn't even own Kirby Superstar, I rented it a lot. But it wasn't until then that I, like, really dug into a Kirby game where you could use different abilities. Wait, is this the secret area, or is this? At... Burger? Yeah, there's Burger. I guess we'll go to, down the Burger path. I just want to see if I missed anything. Maybe there was a hidden donut. Why does Kirby need this many burgers? This many burgers? Kirby? I guess if you want to devour galaxies, you're gonna need your protein, yeah. Don't say he thick, chat. For two reasons. Two very good reasons that I'm not going to elaborate upon. <laughs> I was like, what do I do to get those screws off? I'm still missing one hidden objective. Is it too late? I would imagine chat knows. Chat, tell me or I'm gonna have Kirby shoot you. It's too late? Alright, well Kirby shoots you anyway. Is the name of that mall Alival? Alival Mall? Well, that's a unique way to lock a boss. It's just a big fucking rock wall that you need a ton of Waddle Dees to, like, punch. <laughs> it's not like, oh, you need the power of the 15 crystals to open the way. No, it's just throw Waddle Dees at it like Pikmin. That's nice. That's fucked. What kind of sick bastard wears a necklace of living things? Oh wait, real humans do that. Have you ever seen the, the necklaces with the little like, fish in them. There's one with, like, little turtles. I'm sorry I even brought that up, Jesus. Yeah, but, uh, not to ruin the mood too much, but yeah, that's a, a thing. Slipped through Goromondo's legs. Oh. There's that many hidden objectives for this? There's still a Waddle Dee right now between Goromondo's legs. Because Kirby didn't save him. Because Kirby didn't go between there. I can't believe it. They don't call him Slippin' Kirby for no reason. I'm always ready to help, too, if you need a second player. Please, I'm bored. Kirby, I wanna- I wanna kill. Let me kill. I have a spear. Tort... Tilding. That's the best we could name this. Tort Tilding. Who would voice Kirby in the upcoming Mario movie? Harvey Firestein? Oh my god! Mario, you wouldn't believe it! Wait, what the what the fuck? Wow, that's uh oh oh you can kill them with the boat. That is very, very cool. Oh no, that was the end of the level? Oh no, I just got to the point! Ah! I didn't crack the nuts open. I'm gonna have to do that level again. There is someone that I knew that would call them pomegranies without fail. But that was, in, in his, in his mind, it was a pomegranate. You couldn't say it was a pomegranate, it was, it was pomegranate. You know, we were just a, a fruit, really. I mean, when I, me, pomegranate, was in the Beatles, we was, we was writing all kinds of stuff, really. You know, me and John Lemon, George Apricot, Ringo Starfruit. But how do we get down there? I mean, like a mole ability? Nice, there is a mole ability. What the hell? It's like Mario Galaxy 2. Is this a brand new ability that has never been seen before in a Kirby game? Well, I mean, it's called the drill ability, but... You know, it's a mole suit. 
You know about the mole people, chat? Have we talked about the mole people? The people that live under the subways, in the abandoned subways of, of Manhattan? They've evolved to look like moles and see well in the dark because they've been down there long enough to have adapted. I'm just making that up. They look like that one person from the PlayStation ad from the commercial stream a couple months back. This game has a lot of hidden stuff. Why you fall? Kirby, why you fall? Okay, I'm gonna make it a point to not miss a single thing. Goal. In this level. One of them has to be that. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Challenge. Don't take a single hit while... Oh, I pressed the button to swap by accident and now I'm all fucked up. Oh, god damn it. This is going to take too long. I was going to try to restart the section. It's just going to take too goddamn long. Never mind. I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that I never will get all the Waddle Dees. And they will likely starve to death. Thank you, game. So, what's the last challenge? What did I miss? Might have been no hit. Too late now, man. I know this music. There's too many fish right here. Chat, what's the only fish with two knees? Ham. Correct, the answer is ham. That, that's the fish. People are actually debating on which fish has two knees. The answer is a toonie fish. I, I had said the answer before the question. I didn't make it up. That was the thing I told you about, chat. Where it was like some... It was public access TV. But it was interactive. And only one person at a time could do it. And it was like either information or you could play the game. And the game was like a point and click, but you would choose where to go um, with your phone. So you would call in, and when you'd press buttons and stuff, the adventure would unfold. And it was like some haunted house, and one of the riddles was, What's the only fish with two knees? And if you typed, like, Kel Jesta, if you typed, like, one, you would answer the toonie fish. But people would just, like, call in, and it would be six, nine, six, nine six, nine, or people would like, because it was like pre-internet and beginning of internet. So people would call up and go to the section of information that wasn't the game, and it was just like sex. They have babby mode, they have wild mode, they should have another difficulty, like a harder difficulty. What should it be called? Vinny mode. Dread mode? Dave difficulty. Beast mode. Two knees mode. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Go goblin mode. What happened in 1950? Something. I don't know. The War of 1812. Thank you, chat member. <laughs> that was like a death in Elden Ring. There's a Kerr Burger. Burger! Kirby's taken on a side gig at the counter of the Waffle... <laughs> of the Waddle D Cafe. Of the Waffle House! <laughs> oh, that's that's perfect. We're closer to Kirby than we've ever been before. This is like when Pokemon games give you the ability to pet Pikachu. There are so many out there waiting to be saved. You can almost hear them calling for help. Wawa. 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 Let me out, let me out. Let me out! Wait, you hear that too? One of them must be nearby. Weezy, I'm stuck on a box! Weezy, you need to get me out of this box, please. Oh, Mario, I'm in the box. Ooh. Oh, Mario, I can't. Oh, Luigi, I need you to get me out of this box. Oh, Mario. Oh, Mario, I'm in trouble. Get me out of here, Mario, please. Oh, fuck, Mario, thanks, you saved me. Hello. At least it wasn't the diaper chief. Oh, thanks for reminding me about that bit. That's one of my favorites. Colonel, I found the diaper chief. Oh, that's right. Who's a big baby snake? Yeah. Me. I'm the diaper chief, not him. That's right, snake. You'll always be my diaper chief. Oh, no. Colonel. I'm, I'm scared. What are you scared for, snake? I watched the pee-pee poo-poo man over the weekend. And I had no one to talk about it with. Vinny, so how's being almost 40 working out for you? Pretty good. One thing that's cool about getting older is you care less about what people think about you. Yeah, that's right. I'm a little diaper chief. 
And, uh, I don't know, you just develop, like, some more innate maturity. You know, there's just certain things that no longer appeal to your sense of humor. I'll give you an example. I don't like the Luigi in a small box bit anymore. I find myself... <laughs> I find I find it shallow and pedantic, and I find myself just a little too mature for that bit. I decided this just ten minutes ago. I have a minute and a half to do this. That's really all I'm concerned about now. My brother in Christ. What are we doing? I did it. <sighs> Complete this in 30 seconds to get yourself 50 extra coins. 145. Wow, okay. I guess I could have slept to recover health, right? But then we wouldn't have gotten this nice cutscene. Of... The screen fading. To white, and then... Kirby already ate. Hi. Oh. Oh. Next. I have your, uh, ducklings. Wait, no, I don't. Where, where'd they go? Uh, I had your ducklings. Now they're all, like, lost again. Best game. You know what I kind of think of now? In locations such as this? Silent Hill 3. It's abandoned in a different way. This game. If you really want to go to Silent Hill 3, if you want to see what it's like at the Silent Hill 3 amusement park, just go to Coney Island anytime you'd like. Alright. Here. If you, if you really want to experience some fun, go during a hot summer night, like 100 degrees, get yourself a glizzy, and walk around between midnight and 2 a.m. Don't actually do this, by the way. But if you do, good luck. Uh, just, just good luck. And I hope, I hope everything works out. It's gonna get kind of weird. That sounds like a good clickbait bit, uh, video, said someone in chat. Coney Island, at 1 a.m. Good luck. Mom, Vinny said, Vinny said go to Coney Island at, at 1 a.m. I, I wanna go, but... I don't even live in New York! Tucker, you're not going to Coney Island. No, he said it's a clickbait video, I want to go! He said I should go to the Atlantic City boardwalk and walk around the city at night, like, outside of the boardwalk at, like, 1 a.m. He said it's a good idea. He said I should put my wallet in my back pocket. Boy, the Tucker voice sure has changed over the years. Until I saw the edit that Pierre did, I had no idea that Tucker sounded like, Um, Mom? Um, Vinny said we should- like, I didn't realize I was doing it that- in that timbre, that register. I thought- I thought I was doing it like, Oh, Mom! <laughs> I can't believe I can be a roller coaster in this game. Fucking love roller coasters. Probably have to get all the coins for a challenge. Ready. Beans up. Mom! Vinny said I didn't it that's nice, Tucker. I need you to do the... I need you to do the garbage. Throw the garbage out. Oh, my mini wanted me to become an Eldritch Horror! That's... Tucker, you can't be an Eldritch Horror. You have homework. Oh, my mom, it's too late! I become an Eldritch Horror! Alright, that's it. We're gonna IP block this guy. Should've been done years ago! Oh. Tucker, you cannot devour worlds, okay? You still have to throw out the garbage, do the dishes, and do your homework, you fucking idiot, Tucker. The Tucker's just so easily influenced. Hi. Hey, how you doing, everybody? It's me, Kirby. Yeah, this is my real voice. And, uh, you know, I'm in a big movie. <laughs> yeah, Mario movie. No, this, this is my real voice. I mean, I've been fucking all cute for a couple of years now. Yeah. Ah. This game is too scary for me. Is it too early for me to say I think this is maybe one of the best Kirby games ever made? Is it too early? One of. 
maybe like not the best, but it's too early for me to say that it is the best. Because I don't, I don't know if that's true. I, don't, I wouldn't say so. But I think it's... Like, the more I play this game, the more it like climbs my list. My metaphorical mind list of what I think the best Kirby games are. Here's what I did. I went and um, got some Waddle Dees that I missed. Yeah, we, we I waddled these nuts, exactly. That's so fun. We keep doing that joke, and I laugh every time. Duck! So... Is this all of them? It's all of them. This is literally the best quest in the game, except the other one where I had to do the same thing. How's that for a record? There's a secret if you... Wait, wait, wait. There's a secret if you finish at 86 seconds? So, 86 seconds. Between 86 and 87. Holy shit, it was real. There's another HAL room, too. There's an actual HAL room that I saw, and not just a HAL flowers. Could this be Elden Ring? Get it? If you don't, um, every time someone in Elden Ring, every time someone finds a thing that looks like this, or any round thing that is perfectly a circle, Someone writes a message next to it and says, Could this be Elden Ring? Or, could this be Butthole? One of those two things. I would imagine those are two distinctly opposite things in terms of goodness and differentness. It's not a good way to describe that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> they're just- they're just opposites. One makes you the Elden Lord, and one's an asshole. <laughs> Is this where chat freaks the fuck out? I've heard tales of... A chat killer. Boss. Chat, let me lecture you. I need you to... I need you to be lectured. On chat etiquette. Alright? Now listen, just because something weird is about to happen... It doesn't mean that you have to freak the fuck out- FREAK OUT! EVERYBODY FREAK OUT! Why would they do this? Elden Ring has prepared me for this. Chloraline, the scar- the star scourge. The Scar Scourge. Okay, I am not making even a single attempt to dodge this shit. It's a little cheesy. This is, like, a lot cheesy. <laughs> oh my god. I definitely completed a couple challenges there. Defeat without hovering. No shit. That was one of them, huh? Who's this character? What is, who's that? I've never seen that character before. Meet, meet the, meet the knight. Meet, meet the knight? Meetle. Yo, corn's in this game? Do you remember corn porn industries? I know you remember corn porn industries. The question is, did anyone save a picture of corn porn industries? I guess no one fucking saved it. Wow, some friends you are. I really should just, like, make one of my buttons on my Steam Deck. Stream Deck, Stream Deck, Stream Deck. Um, have the spin word, so I don't have to say it. Do it. All right, Palpatine, I will. So, are you gonna enter the tournament too? <laughs> Not now. I don't wanna do it now. I wanna see new things, and then we can do old bosses another time. Chat. Didn't even save my corn porn. All right. smart of me. Listen, I see tomato, I want to eat. <laughs> Kirby enters the battle arena, eats a tomato, refuses to elaborate, and then leaves. Tree, I am killing you with your son, who has become a pencil. Holy shit. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, no! No, no, no! No! Beep 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 Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's your hard won reward. Meta Knight Sword Blueprint. Okay, so maybe chat was right. Maybe it was worth it. So is this like brawl broken Meta Knight? Chat, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna find corn porn. You can thank me now or later. Big spin. Speed Oh there's a Lizarin found it. A Lizarin? Let's see. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, I needed to make a uh, company for a graphic design class. 
And um, so I made Corn Porn Industries. I still ended up getting an A, because you had to make like five or six, and this was one of the ones I made. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It's just corn. Come on, chat. Be more mature than that. Be the bigger people. Don't be immature. Just because the streamer shows you corn porn industries doesn't mean you have to be immature. Destroy four animal snow sculptures. Why are we being rewarded for this? Very upsetting. Did you ever see those memes of like, thank you for saving my life, and then the next frame it's a picture of a cat, and the cat is thinking to himself, I am a cat. I am a Kirby. Thank you, Kirby. Be sure to thank Kirby every 20 minutes, by the way, if you get a chance to stream this game or make any video content. Yeah, you have to thank Kirby every 20 minutes, and then you have to say how much you enjoy all of his games, and how much you enjoy the new mechanics in this game. Even the ones where you have to draw on a touchscreen. Yep, those two, you gotta say how much you love them, otherwise Square Enix actually hires Chaos to kill you. What is that even supposed to mean? I don't know. I just say words, I don't think. I, I hope then the chat can interpret them. My streams are like lyrics, man. You know? You know, it's up to your own interpretation. Man. You know what I mean, man? It's like, real chill with the vibe in the universe, my dudes. That's what it's all about, my man. You can just interpret however you interpret. That's all it is. Though jokes aside, yep, you know, people do that anyway and literally misunderstand every single word. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Maybe not literally, but uh, sarcasm doesn't always get picked up on, so. Vinny, you just blinded a challenge and a snowman. Nice. <laughs> the music is really good. Why is it so good? Meanwhile, Yoshi games are screaming right now because they don't... They're shitting, crying, coming, and screaming. Because... The last Yoshi game... Well, you know what? One of them had really good music. I forget which one it was, but... Man, Yoshi games have had some fucking garbage music since the first one. It's really hit or miss when you get a Yoshi game. You don't know if it's gonna be, like, sassy kazoos... Or, like, just baby instruments. Wooly World had fine music. Yeah, Wooly World was the one I liked. That one had good music, yeah. That one, and the original Yoshi's Island. And Yoshi's Story, I, I remember Ti Amo, which is Italian for... Eat pasta and die. <laughs> no, it's, um... I don't know, there's a, some, like, kind of weird Bebby song. Mental. Why am I doing that? No, 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 Corby! Corby. Well, that's one way to destroy a snow sculpture. Oh, I get it. I get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, do I get it? I get it. Really, bones? I get it. Kirby shoots cre- uh... Cute creatures with guns. And for some reason, we're all still okay with Kirby. Just don't post cringe. Bro, I- what? No! You don't understand! I'm not gonna post cringe! And then Tucker becomes a rapper by the name of Post Cringe. I'm like Post Malone, but, you know... Better. Tucker, you're getting a face tattoo? Yeah, Post Malone! Uh, said it was cool to do that, so, um... Tucker, what is that on your face? Oh, um... It's eyes and a, and a long nose. No, Tucker, I'm pretty sure that's a cock. No, no, it's just corn. I got it from uh, Corn Porn Tattoo Industries, bro. All right, Tucker, I'm your mother. How many times do I have to tell you? Stop calling me bro. I don't know, Mom. I'm thinking about becoming an island boy. Some chat member in Vinny's chat said I should do it, so I'm probably going to do it. I can do, like, the, the songs. Uh, I'm an island boy. Gadongo, Malongo. Mom, what's a Percocet? <laughs> Apparently, that's a requirement! We already tried to send Tucker to boarding school. He ended up becoming a- a, a, a chav. What is up, Mum? It's me, Tucker! Yo, yeah, I'm back from boarding school, Mum! Have you got any bangers and mash? So we couldn't send him to boarding school. So then we tried homeschooling him. <laughs> but all he wanted to do all day was watch Fortnite kills. 
He said his favorite teacher is ninja. I didn't even know ninjas taught. No, that's my sensei! You don't understand, he can kill a better and build better than anyone else, but there's a no build mode now, so now he's not as good as he used to be, but before that, he was definitely my sensei. God, I had a whole other train of thought, like an entire train of thought, and then it just went into Tucker mode for five minutes, and now I don't even know what I was going to say. Gone. It's fucking completely gone. Well, <clears throat> there's the the chase figure. Do you think Kirby could be classified as a Kerbivore? My writers toiled, unpaid, for weeks to come up with that one. Are you trying to be the Johnny Carson of Twitch? I I would not know who that is, even really. Yeah, I, I don't. I do not know that. That's right. Absolutely weird and wild. Gash. I mean, you could be worse things than the Johnny Carson of Twitch. Johnny Carson was highly respected. I'm widely clowned on. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Find a cave that's safe from the wind. And then murder the sleeping, non-lethal puppies inside of it. Vinny, I don't get that joke. Yeah, they can't all be zingers. Vinny, I don't get that joke. Meanwhile, I was just talking about, like, real-life stuff. <laughs> It's like, 10 minutes of real talk and sad faces, and then the chat member, one single chat member. Vinny, I don't get that joke. Are you- are you kidding me? I was talking about a degenerative disease. Exactly, I don't get it. Enjoy three meals at sea. Kirby, you don't want to eat this shit. Kirby's like, no, I think I kind of do want to eat this shit. I don't know. Apple should start a porn version of their streaming service and just call it Fapple. They would make so much fucking money. Like, for an extra two dollars a month, you get premium Fapple access. Porn is free, but why would I pay for it? Um, why would I pay for it? Um, because on Fapple, I'm trying to think of a, of a joke that you can't repair your penis. I can't, I can't figure out how to word it. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a witty answer. I don't have a witticism for you, chat member. You have caught me at a disadvantage, and I have- I have no answer for you, sorry. Because if they do a big presentation, and show how cool the product is, and then create, like, supply and demand issues, people will buy it. And if they charge a premium price for it, oh hell yeah, people would buy it. And then they could have, um, a next level of Fapple, like where you spend a couple extra bucks a month, we call it Fapple FOMO, which is exclusive timed porn. And if you don't get it by the certain date, it expires and you'll never see it. Bro, why don't you like Apple? You know, I love their products. I would fight for their honor. I am a proud subscriber to Fapple FOMO, bro. You have no idea. Listen, if Apple wants to borrow my corn porn, they're both foods. I'll let them have it. They can have corn porn industries. And we can do like a, um, like a deal, you know, and I'll, I'll s sell them the rights to corn porn. Oh shit, we built a pool. Oh, finally, Kirby fishing! Oh fuck, wrong button. What do I get? I got a cork? Oh shit. Alright, well that's Kirby. Wait, I'm only 33% through the game? The fuck? Vinny, if you were to squeeze Kirby, what do you think he feels like? Like marshmallow fluff without getting your hands dirty. I, I like these guys a lot. These these guys are fun. They've been there since the very first Kirby. No reason for a sandcastle person to be in an ice bridge, but it doesn't matter, does it? It's Kirby. Let it let it be what it is. I thought of the worst word, probably in the human language, the other night. Jesusy. Anyway, as I was saying, those guys are cool because they've been since- since the beginning, they've been there, and there's just some Kirby staples that it, I just enjoy seeing. So, um... I- I know there's people in the audience that are like, did the ussy thing stop yet? Can- can we stop adding that combination of letters to every word and thinking it's hilarious? Yeah. Thing is, you're right. But... It's hard to stop. You know why? Can't stop the spirits when they need you! The beep bop are we on Shadow Moses? It, yeah, a little bit. This is just Pepto-Bismol for Kirby's stomach. That's why it's called, like, 
was it called a pep drink or something? They just can't call it Pepto Bismol. But it makes perfect sense that Kirby would need some. Do, do you know why there is no signal? Because I. When I said um, Pepto, sometimes when I make a point when I'm talking, I don't even realize I do this. I like um, stomp my foot. Not stomp, but like I just put it, you know, like, just boom, like so. And that vibration was enough to unplug my capture card. That's how that's how loose the capture card um, connector is. Not the ca capture card. I'm sorry, the splitter, HDMI splitter. The the power, the power cable goes into that like a wet noodle. All right, I didn't even do anything that time. Fuck you, Cap Captain America. Seriously, what have you ever done for me, huh? What have you ever done for me? Oh my god. Is this going to be an occurrence? One tech problem leads to five tech problems. And I always thought Scoot was weird. And I liked him. So then I played it up a little bit, because that's what we do. We homunculus... <laughs> humans that we call streamers on, the, on this planet. And, um... So I, I played it up a little bit, but the truth is, Scoot is pretty cool. And then I ended up, like... In every Animal Crossing game, always spending a lot of time doing errands for Scoot. And that turned into kind of a genuine... A genuine affection for this non-existent little green duck with a swim cap. That probably may or may not have no muscles whatsoever, and maybe a couple issues in his brain, I don't know. And, um... The thing is, though, I, I always thought ducks were cute, but then... I started going to a local park, and there's just ducks there that you can hang out with. Like, they're, they get pretty close to people, and I started bringing oats and feeding them. And, uh, even the geese, too. And so, over the past, I'd say, over, I've always enjoyed ducks, but the last year and a half, I've, I actually developed a genuine fondness for them, and especially going to feed them, and seeing how, how nice they are. It has brought me some happiness and helped um, helped my rage, my unbridled rage over Star Wars: the, the Rise of Skywalker. So that's nice. This has got to be one of the most bizarre upgrades I've seen in this game yet. Are the prequels or sequels worse? Mike and his chat were arguing about it yesterday. I don't think there's any real way to quantify that without some level of argument and discourse. Uh, and nostalgia for one thing over another, but I'm gonna say that... I'm gonna say that, for me, I would rather watch the prequels because of how fun they are, and because of how much potential they had. Even with the bad script, and the bad acting, and the fake-as-fuck-looking weird CG, that's also nostalgia-speaking. And also because there was an attempt to create something new, and not just, like, icky corporate, like, weird... D D Disney, we need to do this because it looks like this. Which seemed like it was going in a good direction at first, because it could have been like, oh, a return to, you know, Star Wars that we grew up with in the 70s, because I grew up in the 70s, I didn't... That's my thoughts, but it's it's up to you, chat member. It's, there's no objective opinion here. There's no real way to quantify how much one loves a prequel versus a sequel. I don't think it matters. What I will say is, though, for all you prequel fans out there that hate the sequels, give it 20 years, and when the people that grew up on the sequels grow up to write articles and talk about how brilliant they are, and, and ring theory, and string theory, and how genius they were to set up the trilogy like that, and you sit there in absolute befuddlement, just know that we had to deal with the same thing when the prequels were suddenly regarded as, like, amazing. That said, that said, you can throw on the prequels pretty much any time, except Episode 2, which I kind of hate. And, um, and I will watch them, and even Episode 2, I will find things to enjoy. And I'll just look and enjoy and, and absorb with my eyes, and have fun. So, that's my thing. Knowing that the sequels are in service of what is ultimately nothing, and Palpatine has returned somehow, I don't even really want to watch any of them. Because it's just, it, it's like, I talked about this during the, the LEGO Star Wars, and I'm sorry that you have to hear about Star Wars for people that hate it. I know it gets annoying. But, um... It's like Game of Thrones. I love those first four seasons. 
so much, and yet I don't even want to watch it anymore because I know it goes to just nothing and complete nonsense and stupidity. So, and that's something I genuinely love. I was lukewarm. <laughs> I was I was okay with episode seven, and it was fun to watch in a theater. And same for eight at first. After I thought it, before I thought about it for more than ten minutes. So yeah, there's just I have no desire to rewatch those movies. They, they it, let them be what they are. I'm down for more Mandalorian though. Anyway, thank you for listening. I'm I'm done with the Star Wars discussion now. You you can you can unmute. That poor Waddle D. Wait a minute. What is a large penguin doing in this game? <laughs> the framing of this fight with his pets and the music is just perfect. Did he become like some weird post-apocalyptic like gang leader? Like did he fall into this dimension and just become a crime boss immediately? What a badass. Clear without guarding. Well, that's just crazy. Oh, so DDD's a real prick in this one. I, I was half expecting some kind of team up. How easy is it to mind control DDD? Um, apparently very easy. Mom, uh, the streamer said, um, the streamer said that I can, uh, devour the entire universe. I'm sorry, dude, but this is the only way. Yes! Yes! Hang on a second, everybody. So I figured out what the problem was with the, with the HDMI splitter. Oh, no, I didn't. I absolutely did not. Fucking Christ. Oh! I was gonna say, the, the more you push it in, the more, l l like, it doesn't work great. I don't know how true that is. Obviously, it's not true, because you just saw what happened. Chat really wants Vinny to see the bowling gif. What, what is the bowling gif? It's banned on Twitch. No, Vin, please, you can watch this. This is good gif to watch, look at, put on stream. You won't get banned. No. Dave um, sent it, but I, I can't show it, and I don't want to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it. God damn it, I can't even... Oh. Is that... Oh. Okay. There's two of them. Oh. Oh. So wait, that bowling ball just used a bowling pin as a flashlight. Vinny, please, you need to see this gift. Please, let me show you this cool gift that you can show on your stream. You might like it. Please, just... 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Did Vinny see the bowling gif? <laughs> that's a... That's a really... That's a really cool thing you wanted me to see, chat. Thanks. Nintendo of Europe tweets about Wii Sports Bowling and they hid that gif. Someone posted in replies to a Nintendo tweet about bowling and they hid the tweet, meaning Nintendo has seen the gift too. <laughs> Strike! I could see Doug Bowser. Just like, the social media team goes to Doug Bowser and they're like, listen. Doug, we got a problem. Sorry, Mr. Bowser. Mr. Bowser, we, we've got a problem. Unfortunately, this is the top reply to our bowling game tweet. What do we do? Gotta pull the plug. I've seen worse things done with a bowling pin. I'm serious. Chat, did you not see the end of There Will Be Blood? Does anyone remember the the, uh, the video of Jamie Oliver grinding up, like, all the disgusting chicken parts into nuggets? And then he showed, like, school kids to try to dissuade them from, like, chicken nuggets and, like, fast food. And then when he finished making his nuggets of all this disgusting, like, blended up stuff, all the kids were like, I want one! They loved it! And he just looked so deflated. You know what Gordon Ramsay would have done? If he was in that situation? 
he would have he would have drowned them. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying he would have drowned them. It's just an educated guess. Actually, no, that you know what? Someone in chat said that it's not true because he treats kids better than adults. If you watch Gordon Ramsay's cooking show with kids, he does treat them really well, and he's very kind to them. He's very nice and encouraging and supportive. And then with adults, it's like the, the network is like, hey, can you just be more mean? Especially if he's on American television, he's even worse. He's a complete fucking monster. On British television, he's at least more, like, accepting of faults and tries to, like, work with people a little bit. In American television, he's like, WHAT THE FUCK IS WRONG WITH YOU?! You fucking toddler. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the chalkboard! Right, you're a stupid fuck! 30 times, quick! Someone said you can go into the hotel. Oh, wow. The fuck? What? Well, this was a surprise. A apparently, a lot of chat is surprised, too. I would have never thought to go, like, into the, the background. There's a lot of, like, off-the-record secrets. This reminds me of old Kirby secrets, because these days in a lot of video games, like, a secret area has to have some kind of reward. Like, I'll give you an example. In LEGO Star Wars, it could be a ship part, or it could be a blue, um, LEGO piece. Pretty much every little corner you can explore, you get something. Elden Ring rewards you out the fucking ass for every little corner. Even if there's nothing, there might be a golden poop. Or there might be, like, a little centipede or some, like, material that you can use to, to further upgrade, you know, a thing. Kirby, too. I mean, you know... You're rewarded for exploring, but then you have like a little little secret like that. And there's no, there's no star in there. Kind of nice. Is this where Breaking Bad takes place? Yeah, no. This is where Don Eladio and Don Hector uh, drink. This is where that that pool scene takes place. Oh my God, chat. I I found an iceberg of the worst Breaking Bad slash Better Call Saul, Saul theories, and I want to read a couple. It's not a spoiler, but just, it's an iceberg of some of the worst ones. If you really, really don't want Breaking Bad or Saul, not even really spoilers, but just, like, speculation on some bizarre stuff. Okay, so here we go. Um, you know, I like how half of these theories are character is gay. Uh, Felina was a hallucination. Uh, Lalo equal Lalo, Lalo equals Walt. Kim equals Skyler. Walt equals Hal. Kaylee is Benjamin Button. Ernie is Gus's son. Um, here's, here's my favorite ones. You ready? Mike is Jesse from the future. Okay. Gus has animal telepathy. <laughs> you like him? <laughs> oh. Mike is Walt's right testicle. And, um... The pool of insanity. <laughs> the pool of insanity. Okay. I just want to explain the pool of insanity because I laughed so hard when I discovered it. I had to look it up. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen the show, many of the darkest scenes in the show take place around or in Walt's pool. So this is a theory from like eight years ago that someone formulated of how the pool itself leads to insanity. <laughs> because, like, when he makes some fucked up decisions, there's one decision in, in particular with a character named Brock, and um, it's kind of fucked up, and it involves one of the characters looking into the pool for a very long time to contemplate. And it seems like almost all the fucked up scenes happen around or in that pool, or the contemplation to doing those fucked up things happens, you know, around the pool looking at it. Therefore, pool of insanity. So, it is the pool itself. In fact, the theory goes deeper, saying that once they got that pool, it corrupted Walt, because it was so, like, it was like a luxury that he had never had before. And it, like, corrupted him and his family. And then there is uh, another theory that it's just a, literally a pool of insanity. You think it's weird that there's a pool here right now? Like, that's not weird, right? That I'm literally at a pool while talking about a pool. Sure, this is a pee pool, but that's okay. I didn't look up Mike being Walt's right testicle, but I'm sure someone wrote, like, a, a fucking ten-page dissertation on why that... 
in some way, shape, or form, a viable theory. Retry pipe mouth challenge? What is the pipe mouth challenge? Oh, it's a new TikTok challenge. Oh, that's cool. What, what do you do? Yeah, in this challenge, you have to take a rusty pipe from some abandoned building, and you have to put it in your mouth for 10 seconds. As far down as it can go. Alright, dude, I'm in! I'm in! Oh, fuck yeah, that's a great idea, dude! I'm sorry, but Tucker, it, you know, just applies too well. Yeah, I think I missed all that stuff back there. Oh, well. Whatever said stuff even was, I don't even remember. Honestly, the TikTok generation... Not to call, like, everyone... It's not, like, a complete monolith, but, like, you know, the whole... TikTok challenge thing... And, like, doing stupid things to get the, the likes. Honestly, I mean, look at the, the show Jackass and the people that, like, did their own version of it. It's not like this is new. It's just now it's, like, so incredibly encouraged and widespread. Like, people have been doing dumb shit since the dawn of time. Think about how many Oongabungas have perished because another Oongabunga challenged them to lick a dinosaur egg while the dinosaur mama was at the nest. No, humans and dinosaurs did not coexist at the same time. Maybe, like, a very, very, very early form. It wasn't the fucking Flintstones. Hey, I'm Unga, and welcome to Jackbutt. Because it would be censored. Because it's very puritanical times back in cave days, you know? <laughs> I hear the Beatles are going to put out a new song soon. Yeah, it's just Ringo Starr with Paul McCartney on Triangle. Call it the Beatles. Yeah. Tilt and roll Kirby. Step right up, get your hands on the latest, greatest game in town. Tilt and roll Kirby! Come and try it out sometime, Kirby. Is this like Mario Galaxy? Well, this is... I mean... It's also... Not Mario Galaxy, but also, um... Breath of the Wild has puzzles like this. Fucking god. Fucking god. My biggest claim to fame was when a speedrunner was playing that marble game, marble it up, and they were like, and they were like, we're gonna talk about some dedication now. That means that they heard my scream. An unholy scream it was. Uh, what? No, 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 no. We don't need, we don't need two of these. What, what do you mean two? What do you, what do you mean two? I'll talk about. I'll deal with two of them. Oh, what the fuck is this one? Forgive me! <sighs> what else you got? Oh, nothing. Wow, you cleared every difficulty of my game. I knew you would. That's why I've been preparing a special challenge just for you. It's extra hard. Uh, I was just joking. I didn't actually want more. Oh, you son of a bitch. Swaddle D is a monster. Cleared in 20 is 500. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Talk about dedication. Bing! Bing. Find me some Kirby strategies. Oh, I got what you need, bro. Just to hang tight and we'll get you some nice strategies written by some real rats. Real rats. Just hang tight, my, my scro. My scrotum, bro. That's just a rat porn. Right on the oh! Gordo. <laughs> Gotta just keep going fast. You can't you can't stop once you get once you get yourself started. Once you get started, you gotta keep going. You gotta go fast and faster. That's that's, that's good. Look where they put that last Gordo. You're fucking joking me? You you're kidding, right? Oh, 
My Scroza, please. Oh my god. That's a dumb way to die. Slow the fuck down, Kirby! We'll just have like three close calls in a row only to die like that. Crush my I, I need to put I need to put a fan on. I need to I need I need air. I need air, because I'm Never mind, it's not plugged in. Yep. <laughs> this have to be touch it. gyro. Could it could it just maybe have been control stick? Whoa! 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 Careful! Careful not to reset in the wrong spot, everybody. That's that's my advice for you. The fledgling Kirby tilt and gamer. Don't reset in, in a bad spot and then lose track of where your controller is. Because that'll get you nice and fucking killed. Gamers! <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, slow the fuck down! <laughs> Excuse me, I had a sneeze. What? I'm good. I'm good. No. Mouse. This music is a little scrotal. <laughs> Under 30 seconds, too. Easy. What else you got? My pool of insanity is any marble game? Is that what that chat member said? I think you might be right. Any- any game? Okay, holy shit. Any game where I control a spherical object, whether or not there's a monkey inside of it doesn't matter, as long as the spherical object goes along a track of some kind. Or a course. I guess you could say that that's just kind of me pondering the orb. Wait, I need to be sphere now? The sphere of fear. Does anyone have their own sphere of fear? If so, is it like the Pool of Insanity? S someone in chat just said, Snake, have you heard about the Ice Cream Man? The Ice Cream Man. Yeah. When we were young, there would be a man in a truck who would come by with ice cream cones. Ice cream cones? Yes. The type of ice cream that's in a cone that you can eat. Snake, you really didn't have much of a childhood, did you? You know the answer to that liquid. I mean, Master Miller. Well, sometimes we would get fudgy wudgies. Other times we would get SpongeBob. Yes, Snake. Ice cream in the shape of SpongeBob and Ninja Turtles. It looked nothing like them. And it tasted like pure shit. But we ate it anyway, Snake. And do you know why? Snake, listen. This has nothing to do with diapers, okay? I told you, we're not doing Diaper Chief bit today. We're just- we're just not. I don't know how this got revived. It's my own fault, but also chat just like... They shoehorn it into every conversation now. Why is your Cam Clark turning into Ringo? Well... I don't... I don't know! Ah, uh, my Ringo is more like this. Hello? I once wrote a song about farts. Someone said, I'm not up to date with Vine Sauce lore. Is Captain Falcon still pregnant? Listen, chat member. You gotta sub for that information. <laughs> it unlocks as soon as you sub to the stream. There's like a little text box. Note, I'm not actually asking for subs. <laughs> but, you know, the information. The implication. Yeah, you get a, a codex call from Master Miller and he tells you all the latest Vine Sauce lore. Is Captain Falcon still pregnant? God, is, is Snake still the diaper chief or is someone else the diaper chief? Uh, what's Tucker up to? Did he go into the army? The Marines? What is he doing? Is Sponge still sad? Is Watto still Anakin's father? Yes, that's absolutely true. Is Tucker- yeah, Tuck- Tucker's on TikTok. Tucker is regressing. Like, he went from like, puberty! Oh god, I'm like, you know, getting really- oh no, what is this? I'm getting hair in weird place! To like, hey mom, you know, I'm gonna get on TikTok! Like, he- he we went through reverse puberty. He had a little bit of puberty, and then it just reversed because he's so fucking dumb. Like, he did too much stupid shit on TikTok. 
I guess you could call him Benjamin Button. But remember, Mike Ehrmantraut's granddaughter is Benjamin Button, so... Vinny, going the wrong way. How do you know which way I'm going? Wait, am I really? I guess there's no enemies. Oh, look, there's arrows. Sorry, I'm a fucking idiot, and I was calling Tucker an idiot. Meanwhile, here I am going opposite arrows to areas I've been to, and there's no enemies or collectibles, and I'm just like, yeah, no, this is fine. This is probably normal and fine. Wow, I went that far back. <sighs> I was I was busy doing a good bit. I don't even remember which bit it was. It, it was one of those bits that was probably good. I don't know. Vinny, you are Tucker. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I have no, I don't know what you're talking about. Tool is the best band I've ever heard in my life. They're so deep. Maynard has like secret ancient knowledge. Like he knows about the Fibonacci sequence and shit. <laughs> Note, I'm not making fun of Tool fans. I am, however, making fun of the people that, like, think that Tool is the meaning of life. I actually like Anima and Lateralis and uh, Undertow quite a bit. Well, someone said, what the fuck is Tool? It is a tool for human evolution, clearly. That's, that was what was intended by the band name, I think. Tool of Insanity. That's right. Underground Pizza Party. This kind of looks like the back rooms of a Charles Entertainment cheese. Maybe we'll get a hammer that looks like dangerous and not like a bonky hammer that you'd get at Charles Entertainment Cheese gift shop. How does the rat acquire cheese for his pizza? Milks other rats. Yes. Vinny, can you do the cat boss again? No reason. I, she's just a cool boss and I like the mechanics. Good news, chat member. No. Someone said, it amazes me how natural this feels for Kirby. The transition into 3D. Agreed, yeah, it doesn't feel- Actually, you know what? No. Your opinion sucks. So do you. No. I- I say the same thing. It really is amazing. How almost effortlessly. But there was like a little experiment with this style of gameplay in one of the 3DS games, I forget which one, where there was like a sub-game that took place from a similar perspective, and it was like, you did some stuff. I don't remember what you did, but you did some stuff. Planet Robobot. It was called Blowout Blast. We got some Kirby historians in chat. Well, that was a good experiment, and maybe a stepping stone to this. Vinny, being told off and complimented at the same time by you is cool, considering how chat usually is with bits and commentary. Fuck you, but thanks, chat member. You're pretty cool. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why I gave you the old spicy meatball. I thought it would be fun. But I'm glad you enjoyed it, regardless. See, this person really doesn't like this weird pink dude. Don't worry, it's not Kirby. It's, it's like, Scurby. They're a collector, after all. I mean, look at all this crap they've collected. Oh, that's fucking weird. <laughs> Kirby looked like an 80s rock star. Silly Dillo! And that's why I need to dodge. Hey! Okay, I need to get the timing down. Ooh! Listen, that god devouring serpent fight, I didn't know there was a gimmick. Okay? I didn't expect it. I almost won. I almost won without the damn spear that I spent fucking stones to upgrade. What? Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! I got greedy. I got greedy. Yes, greed is good. Buy a neon lamp. Very good. It's a fun fight. I mean, it's gonna dodge. But I've been playing another game where you have to dodge. You looked into the pool of insanity for too long. Hey, Mario, did you ever wonder where Brooklyn is? Oh, Luigi, it's in Brooklyn. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Mario, why are these bits getting kind of abstract? Did Vinny run out of ideas? Oh, Luigi, I told you, if it's not about drugs or some kind of weird sex shit, Vinny doesn't have any bits for us. 
Hey, Mario, did you ever hear about the diaper chief? You, you know what I mean? Like, do you want me to combine the bits? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Redgar Forbidden Lands. Oh, man. We're going to Mount Doom? Holy shit. Why did this game have to go so hard, though? Like, seriously, there's some really insane fucking scenarios in this game that I just never expected. I mean, you know, you expect volcano, fire area, ice area, etc., etc., but holy shit. Vinny, are you going to attempt to 100% this game? I think the type of gamer I am these days, and the type of person, you know, that how I record and stream, I don't think 100% in games is particularly my thing. Because I, I just like to move on. Like, I, I'm 90-something hours in Elden Ring, and I'm already like, where did all the time go? But, uh, no, I, I don't think 100... I don't think I want to 100% it. It's like Lego Star Wars. Vinny, do you want to 100% that? Someone was asking me. I'm like, hell no. I'll enjoy it, but I don't need to get everything. That said, this game does seem a bit easier to, uh, collect everything if you put your mind to it, man. The work, and he enjoys being, like, Boba Fett. Yeah. Oh, good! Waddle Dees don't matter at this point if you don't want a 100%. I know, but look at look at them, they're nice. And I want to find the secrets because that's... For me, they half the fun of this game is finding all the secrets. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my god. So, there's a... there's a pecking order here. Kill the poppy bros first. That's my tip to any... Kirby's out there. If your name is Kirby. Oh, I get it. I get it. Wow, I'm fucking terrible at this one. Oh well. Oh, shit. Oh, that would have been it too. Oh, fuck. Let's try this one again. I can do this one better. Apparently fucking not. Back in my day, we would just restart the game. What's that? Oh, you're done with Mario 3! Well, guess what? You can play it again! I'm very good at this game tonight. I have to, like, pay more attention to the game, because I, uh... I stopped doing so. Earlier, Kirby was a lot easier, so I was able to just bullshit more. Let me not bullshit as much. I will finish my point about... <laughs> I remember what I was saying! <laughs> what have these poor animals done to deserve being defeated this many times? Nintendo hires you. You're a 3D modeler. You're super excited, you get to work for your dream company. You have to develop Wild Frosty's ass. You just have to, you know, you just have to make the textures and just, just want to make, make a nice plumpy. I mean, it's a high paying job. And the benefits are that you get Kirby early. Worth it. Would you eat Kirby if he were a pizza? <laughs> if the moon was made of cheese, would you eat it? All right, so Indiana Jones has dealt with snakes. Uh, he dealt with, like, centipedes and cockroaches, and, uh, and there were rats. And, uh, I'm thinking for the fourth movie, we should just have a bunch of CG, uh, fire ants. Well, what do you think, Steven? George, I don't even want to make this movie. Alright, well, eh, let's do CG fire ants then, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they crawl inside the guy's mouth. That's cool, right? Yeah. Here's something I didn't realize. I was just re-watching, um, Spider-Man today, for some reason. I don't know. I just needed something mindless to... Just get my head into... Not even that it's a mindless movie, but I've already seen it. I know I like it, so I was like, oh, it's on the thing, let me watch it. And, uh, yeah, it was just... I mean, it's a little bit more predictable watching it for the second time. But that's only because I've seen it once. <laughs> but I still like the movie quite a bit. I think it's a good movie. It is a good comic book movie. And, uh, Defoe is amazing in it. But they de-aged both Defoe and, um, what's his name? Dr. Octagonopus. Who the fuck is that guy? Alfred Molina. There's an Indiana Jones reference, too. Alfred Molina was, uh, in Raiders. But yeah, they're both de-aged, and I did not know that the first time I watched the movie. I think de-aging can look good. The fact that with Mark Hamill, they literally have to recreate a human in CG, and then with deep fake, te uh, deep fake technology is very unfortunate. But a little bit of de-aging, A little bit of de-aging, actually, I think we have the technology for that to, to make it look 
reasonably good. Fuck. Challenge failed. This level is not meant to be traversed backwards. Can someone de-age me, please? I need my brain to be de-aged. That's a good secret room. I give it to them. That That is a good quality secret room. And now I can't leave. Coffee? Three cups. I'm sure that's healthy. We live in a time where coffee is basically dessert. Like the, you know, the fancy coffee chain places. It's just like dessert options. No, I listened. I fuck my coffee up with sugar. I get it. And it is delicious. I usually do a large coffee with um, three sugar and half and half. That's my, that's my go-to. And uh, only one a day. Man, you can get a Voki, a uh, Voki <laughs> mental chino. <laughs> and let me tell you, that stuff, it's like you're drinking cake. Oh, oh god, it's like the Japanese game show. You saw that? That was like the Japanese game show where you have to fit through the, the fucking, the, it's muscle march. It was a glory triangle. I do love coffee, but I would not encourage. Someone said they're up to five cups a day. I don't know much about a lot of things. I'm kind of, you know, I'm not always the best advice giver. I'm going to say it is my guess that that is probably not amazing for you. And that if you tried to cold turkey that or go one day without a single coffee, you'd be on the ground in pain. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why am I now Renala, queen of the moon? Frodo, we need our... We need our beauty sleep before we get to Mount Doom. That's right, Mr. Frodo. You take a nap. I was gonna jump into that blue star because I didn't read it. I was like, ooh, shiny. Yeah. Look away, chat. Look away. Like, this just does not feel like a scene out of a Kirby game. Which is cool. New York's hottest club is Kirby. We've got guns. We've got fun. We've got spikes. We've got vending machines. We've got O's. We've got boats. We've got ice cream. There's freaks. There's geeks. Does it do your taxes? Kirby does his taxes unlike Yoshi. Even though fuck taxes. That's a whole conversation that we've had already. Don't even know- don't even know where it's going. Those damn roads don't even get fixed. Fix the fucking roads. Potholes build character. You know what they say. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Unless it's applied to your car. You know what they say? All toasters! Toast, toast! Oh, Mario, you're so funny! You should be a stand-up comedy! I know you're making fun of me, Luigi. People saying, here we go, chat. Yet, there's two bonus areas that just unlocked. Just get up there, Kirby! Come on, Kirby! Okay, Kirby. Box. Do boxing. Ah, oh, shit. We'll come back to it. Chat doesn't need to be edged any further from the final boss. Which is why we're gonna do this one first. I need Storm Tornado ability- oh. Come on, do more damage. Ruin these poor swans. These poor, defenseless, innocent swans that just want to dance and spin. Is there any other functionality to this thing? Or is it just press button and, and spin to win? Oh, you can press B again to, like, do a little lightning. Do a little trolling. Vinny, say it. Alright, you want me to say it? Like, I'm trying to think, I don't want to, you know, obviously I'm not gonna get it spoiled for myself because I'm not gonna read the chat, but, like, I'm trying to figure out what could it possibly be that chat has been so excited about? Well, it's the king. It's King Tree DD. Oh, wait, wait, I thought he was a tree. Or go? Guess we gotta go find out where the T-Virus was made. Maybe Wesker will be down there. Maybe, um, Jimmy Smits. Wait, who's the character from Resident Evil 2? That turns into a monster? Birkin. Yeah, William Birkin, not Jimmy Smith's. Different. I thought he was gonna throw the Waddle D into them. Alright, redeemed. Of course. Heroic last stand. Come on, you're more powerful than a bunch of fucking rabbits. Activated. Huh? System. Wait, English in a Kirby game? Like, English language? Voiceover? What the fuck? We enjoy today. We enjoy today. Oh, oh. 
This is how they get their energy? They, they force Waddle Dees to run for them? <laughs> Holy shit! It's the Morty Pain Pyramid. Why is this lore so fucking crazy? Chat was saying that this was going to be Shadow the Hedgehog. I was going to say that that would be a very ambitious crossover. I don't know what I was expecting. What? A lion person. And now the time has finally come. Oh, it's the... It's Erio. Kirby's just like, hi. That's right. This small creature here is the Great One's missing half. Finally, after all our planning and effort, we can help the Great One reach their complete form. We've dreamed of this moment for so many years! Sorry. <clears throat> if you dare to stand in our way, we'll feast on your hide. Yes, but I'm Kirby and I have a gun. I'm gonna have to fight that thing back there in that tank, right? At some point, don't spoil it, chat, but I'm just saying. This may as well be a Metroid research facility. Like, are there spi space pirates here? I was gonna say spice pirates. That's Dune. Careful planning, no wasted, no more planning, no more patience instead. Everything shall be consumed. Oh, okay. Enjoy the nightmares, chat. DDD is dead, and so too will everything else be. Oh god. Oh my god! Soon we will be together! This is fucked! By the way, sorry. That was not even worth saying out loud. Invasive species. Fecto Forgo. <laughs> what, man? Why is Kirby like this? Why are these games like this? Vinny, you're fighting the thing with fire. Yeah, to a- to a large extent. I- I gotta say, this is... Oh no. Oh no. Irio, what ha- no! This is a- this is an amazing fucking Kirby boss. Just like, shocked at the lore, too. Like, they went all out with this one. I mean, it's not quite Earth, but it's like an Earth-like place. And they abandon it. That's a Pokémon. Don't even get to do the waterfowl dance. Oh, we're just opening dimensions. It, it's now Spider-Man. Far from home, no way home, homecoming, whatever fucking Spider-Man. Home sitting. Okay, we're, oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Spider-Man home alone. With near... 25-year-old, however however old he is, Tom Holland, playing a child. <laughs> there we go. There we go. The fuck? What? The fuck is this game? We have to stop it, but how? Friendship? Or, you know what? A truck. That's fine, too. Fucking kidding me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And, and the music is perfect. <laughs> I, I just saw some of Popstar. This is like Bayonetta shit. This has really just become... <laughs> Bayonetta 3. <laughs> this is so insane! A Kirby truck versus a god. Truck wins. Very stylized, too. That's amazing. That's amazing. In the great game of life that is rock, paper, scissor, truck beats God. I need to close the connection between worlds. 
How do you do that? Even if it takes all the power I've got. I guess you could just use your ears. That's the source of the power. Hey, Kirby. Thanks for everything. I won't be in the sequel. <laughs> Kirby and the Forgotten Land 2, the squeakquel. I kind of expected vocals to kick in just when they did. Somehow, Elphalyn lived. Well, that was probably... maybe my favorite Kirby ending of all the games. Like, I don't think you get much better than that. It's not over yet. Liquid, what are you saying? I mean, sure, there's post-game, but I mean, just in terms of a final boss... ...and fucking with your expectations a little bit, and then doing some really bizarre world-ending stuff that Kirby is usually really good at... Perfect. Alright, I say final boss as in, like, you know, the, the end-game boss. The one that gets you access to the credits. Main story boss, yeah. Quack. The story isn't really over, either. Well, you see, Vinny, everything you said was wrong. That boss was cool. The boss that you fight that leads directly to the credits. Was a good boss. Vinny, wrong, that wasn't a boss. <laughs> yeah. Vinny, wrong, these aren't credits. Everything you said was wrong. That's amazing, Kylo Ren. Vinny, this isn't even a game. Vinny, wake up, you're in a coma. <laughs> you have been since 2015. Harambe's still alive! Oh no. Fuck. Chat killer has arrived. Hey look, Chloraline is visiting our town. She looks a bit upset, hmm? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Kirby? Don't say it like that, because chat's gonna have their own thinking. When things finally calmed down and the animals came to celebrate with us, Leongar was missing. I bet Chloraline has been looking for him. She might have found something. We should ask her what's going on. I see Dirty Deeds done dirt cheap up there. Let me- let me talk to him. He's being catered to like a- like he's some kind of god. Hiya, Kirby. Been a while, hasn't it? I didn't get to say it before, so thanks for saving King DDD. Speaking of, he seems to really like this town. He's been resting to help himself heal. Actually, we have something to give you. It's a blueprint from King DDD. A gift from the king. What an honor. Masked hammer blueprint. You can evolve the hammer. More of the most exciting game on- on the planet. It's called the Wingspan. It's a bird game. Uh, with cards. Yeah! 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 Turns out that playing video games as a hobby is actually really fun. I didn't, you know, my whole life I just thought, man, this is gonna be a great career one day. I said when I was seven playing Mario World. Yeah, just puking, puking all over a rug because I couldn't play Mario Kart and because previously I had lost in Mario Kart. Just puking, puking and waiting for the day for my career to unfold. Knowing that, of course, one day people would actually pay money to watch other dumbasses play video games and go spin, Knowing. Just knowing. You knew. And you knew that if you made the Snoop Dogg reference, that they would clap. And let me tell you, the donations would come in. Even though I don't accept donations, they- they just... Every time the people hear about Snoop Dogg on this glorious of most glorious holidays, It's cool that I missed that. So I, I like that. I did that again. This whole time Kirby's been like in pain. A listening to me speak and also just in pain. Oh, I see it now. Wow. Yeah. Phantom Tropic Woods. It's got like a little soul soul patch. It's like Mirror Universe Spock where he just has like a little beard. That's how you know he's evil. He just he has a beard. I don't think I got I don't think I got hit once. Unfortunately, there's no reward for that. Nice. <laughs> Vinny, did you see the Snickers cock vein news? Yeah. It's fake. Confirmed fake. Do I really have to tell chat about the Snickers cock vein? Alright, fine. Um... There was some story going around that... Whatever company does Snickers, I don't know. Um, was going to make the Snickers bar smooth because there's like, do you ever see a Snickers bar? Like, there's like a little texture to it and it looks kind of like a dick vein. So, there was this rumor that they were removing that and making it smooth because it looked too much like a cock vein. And apparently that was, um, confirmed, um, false. That is, that is false. Here, let me show you. Snickers responds to the dick vein rumors. The image is amazing. I mean, there it is. Need I say any more? But yeah, that's not real. 
That was a little bit of knob news for the chat there. A right. little bit of uh, knob news. Right. Could eat a knob at night. Carl, what the fuck are you talking about, mate? There is no dick vein on a piece of candy, Carl. No, there's a little bit of a knob. That's something that Carl would have brought in as fact. And then they would have, like, talked about it. And then, yeah, said that Carl needed to play a record. Kind of in the mood for a candy bar now, though. <laughs> it's a little too late for one, and I don't have any, but... So, chat, how do I, uh, how do I get that? Oh, I see it. I have to go to the tip. I didn't plan on that one. I, I didn't plan on it. It's just that dick jokes are really easy. Like, I didn't know it was leading to that moment. You know, when in Rome... I mean, chat, you can criticize me all you want, but... Take a look at the clip channel. Right? Take a look at the clip channel that Johnny posts some interesting clips, right? And, uh, you know, the, the stuff where I think I'm making a fun joke, like that tumbleweed joke. Man, I was so proud of that tumbleweed joke. No one fucking watches that. You know what people watch. You know what they watch. Alright, some people watch that, but you know what people really watch? You know what they- you know what the people want? Where's my phone? They want to see me find my phone. There was a- a video that was posted to that clip channel that got easily over 100k, right? Most of the stuff does like, you know, 10 to 20 to 30, which is fine, you know, enjoy it. Vinny watches the bowling gif, 251,000 views. The bowling gif in question is not even shown in that video, okay? Sort by most popular. Vinny gets the Dragussi is the most popular clip from a month ago. Vinny, take a picture of her t a pregnant dinosaur. Don't forget to wash your foreskin. No PP, only sword. Stomp. You know what? I'm being selective. There's actually quite a lot of variety here. There's there's variety. No, I mean, me reacting to the cast of the Mario movie, I didn't realize that that was like that. I had I, I really had no idea it had that many views. Okay, so never mind. It's, it's, it's... There's a balance. But let's just say that the easy ticket to success on the clip channel is known. <laughs> there is a way. No, I didn't say gnome. I didn't say gnome. <clears throat> Let's meet in the middle. Streamer and chat are guilty. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Have you ever had your own Snickers cock vein moment? <laughs> Vinny, do you know what jelking is? Am I reading that word right? J-E-L-Q-I-N-G. Asking for a friend. You made that up. You made that up. Vinny, Google jelking. This, this isn't anything to do with Jenkum, right? Oh my god. Performed on the halfway tumescent penis, jelking is a manual manipulation of stim simultaneous squeezing and stroking the shaft from the base to corona. Oh no. It's real. What does the word tumescent mean? That's an interesting word. I'm learning two words today. How do you pronounce that? Tumescent. Oh, why do you say it like that? That makes it weird. Swollen or becoming swollen, especially as a response. Okay. Now watch this clip get 500,000 views in the next month. Just because it'll have a good title, and because you know what you want to watch. You- you know. Fuck. I guess that's joking. This chat member knew what they were gonna do. They had it all planned out. They are like, oh, I learned a fun new word today. Oh, when Vinny goes live? When Vinny goes live, he'll learn a new word too. I walked- yeah, I walked right into it. Not, you know, like, metaphorically, not- Um, mom! I was watching, um, Vinny stream, and he was talking about, um, jelking, like, and also Rasputin's, like, hard penis technique, and that, like, a Snickers bar actually ha is made with real dicks. Um. Tucker is too useful of a character to retire. He, he is the key to all this. Have you ever retired any character, though? Uh, Apple Dave. That was never my character, that was just... Someone forcing a meme. He thick. Yeah, he thick is long gone, hopefully. Yeah, even though Ralph wasn't well, Ralph still makes appearances from time to time, but Ralph was never mean spirited. He was just like lonely and didn't understand the world of Second Life. Neither did I, truthfully. The jelking area. Great. Thank you for this wonderful new word. This fucking chat member vertently started a new meme. Knowing full well what they were going to do when they woke up this morning. Bro, I can't watch the stream right now. I got a jelk. I'm getting my jelk on, bro. I measured. It was one-tenth of a centimeter this week. 
No, I can totally feel it. I can feel the difference. When I'm in a pool, I float more. My brother in Christ, can you stop saying it? My brother in crust, I will not. Hey, Link, it's me, Joe. You know, uh, I was wondering if you wanted to work out. You know, stare into a mirror, touch each other's faces, whatever you want to do, Link. Vinny, are you trying to get some payback at chat for all the trolling they do against you? I don't think I'm specifically trying to get revenge on the chat. I just think once... Once you open the floodgates of, like, bizarre conversation, these things just happen. <laughs> God damn it, chat. I, like, that word was- it just couldn't have been real. That's what I thought to myself. I was like, no, 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 someone just made up- Like, hey, chat, have you heard of, um... Semlacking? That's probably a real word. I, I don't even- Jobeeb? That's not what a chat member said, right? Like, I'm a little further away from the chat at the moment. I don't think the chat member just said Jobeeb. Is that a word? Is, is that the name of a character in Dune? Is that a Fremen? Vinny, have you heard of gooning? I know, I know all about gooning. Mike had to explain it to me like four times, but I... I know what- I know what it is now. Next you're gonna tell me there's such a thing in this world as a Baobab tree. With a name like that... Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, that one's- that one's real. I enjoy words. Words are fun. Oh, well, I guess I have to play the clip, right? And words, man! We made them up! What? Wait... that... huh? Wait, this lion's kind of a jerk. Why are we trying to save his soul again? Anyone figured that part out? <clears throat> he was an unwitting pawn. Ugh, these men are pawns. Vinny, did you genuinely not notice that DDD and Leon were both brainwashed? Fuck them. <laughs> I noticed DDD was. I don't know why I said that like that. I put the wrong emphasis on the wrong D. Speaking of D. See, I'm trying to... What you want to do with this power, I'm sure most of you know, is you want to make a circle around the enemy. For massive damage. Ow. Oh, shit. Man, I was able to beat Elden Ring this week, and I'm struggling more with Kirby. Oh, there's no summons in Kirby. Shit. Bandana D's not... like... on layaway with the spirit calling bell. Adult friends, yeah. Well, a lot of my adult friends have, like, like, wives and kids, <laughs> and kids. So that's kind of just the modus of op- modus. The- the mode of operation is we just catch up when we can because they're too busy, uh, being Morbius. Vinny, you don't need to avoid having discussions like that. We enjoy your existential dread. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen to my music. Check out those CDs, especially those two. If you- if you really like the existential dread. I'd prefer to do music about it than to talk about it plainly. I don't always find the right words, and then even when I do, of course, those can be misinterpreted. So I- I like to keep things kind of light here. You know, like... Just talk about scrotums and death <laughs> and sex cults. But other than that, and blended beavers, other than that, I like- you know, light conversation, nice light. Oh, my hammers went away. And I'm stuck with Drill now. Ah, shit. I became Renala. When is Gorimondo confirmed for Call of Duty? They've got a Godzilla mode. <laughs> like, Snoop Dogg is in the game. May as well go Gorimondo. They revealed uh, the logo for their new game. It's called Modern Warfare 2. So that's gonna get real fucking confusing. So do we talk about Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, Modern Warfare Remastered, or Modern Warfare 2 2022? They should just call it New Modern Warfare, like Nintendo, like their naming scheme. Because those, those stay new for a long time, you know? They stay new long enough for parents to stop buying them. Vinny, stop using buffs, please. Oh, you're the chat member from the other night. I, I know- I know what's up. You don't want this game to be easier for me. I get it. I understand. Well, chat member, you and I have, uh, different priorities in life. I didn't upgrade the weapons. So... 
you know, I could be going even further into the descent of Bappy game, but I've decided, oh, well, that would have been cool. Yes! Oh, I got new sounds. Yes! Get fucked! I got new sounds. That's an old one, but I have it now in, in uh, MP3 form. Oh, fuck. It's the wrong button. Do I get to drive a truck into God again? I swear it's the end of No Way Home. I did a school report on the JFK thing, and I built the Dealey Plaza out of like foam and cardboard, and then put like a string with like marker on the string from where the library was to the car. It was for a, like a social studies fair. No, it wasn't like like funny. It wasn't funny. I mean, it was it was a you know it was a tragedy. The dude got shot in the head, even if he didn't like his politics. Fucking murder in cold blood and daylight. But I'm just saying it was it was uh. But I did a report on it because it was fascinating, and I did not do any of the conspiracy theory stuff. But later on, I read some books and you know, and found out it was it was lizards. You know, it was all it was the lizard uh, lizards. Yeah, there were- there were bases on the back of the moon that JFK wanted us to go to. <laughs> or something like that. I've heard... so many different conspiracies regarding that. That I can't keep them straight in my head anymore, so I don't even try. But I'll tell you what, you know what makes me think? Because Paul is dead, right? There was the- the thing on the- on the Abbey Road cover, where the car 27 if, or 20 something, you know what I mean? If he had died, he might have been a clone, or a look-alike. And Paul McCartney, you know what he said? The moon is right! There you go. It was moon bases. And the Beatles happened, like, right after. They exploded into popularity just after that happened. So, the- JFK was replaced with the Beatles in the hearts and minds of the citizens of the U.S. It turns out if you say anything with enough conviction, there are people that will just be like, Yeah, you know what? That, that, that sounds about right. And then you could just write a book about it. If you link enough things, like, as someone who's read about alien stuff a lot, like, there's been a lot of linkage. You know, conspiracies these days are... I don't, I don't even know where to begin. It's not the X-Files anymore, folks. But, um... There was a lot of linkage between events and different types of alien and, 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 and like, you know, things that have happened to the point where it turned into, like, when the book started going into numbers and how the numbers connected to the Bible, I was out. I was just out. Like, sorry, dog, that's, I don't know if I have any, if I, I don't know if I have any interest in that whatsoever. W whether or not there is something to it, I'm dumb. I'm gonna play my video game with Kirby Babby game again now because I don't... No matter how much I know about this shit, no matter how much I research it, I'm not gonna get any answers. And it's not going to change my life in any significant way. Maybe make it worse. So that's the conclusion I came to. So those were the other things that JFK was talking about. That said, I still pop on like a UFO documentary once in a while. I, I am very curious about alien stuff. It's, it's very interesting to me. Perhaps it's wishful thinking, but there have been a lot of weird events and sightings and crashes and all that fun stuff. And I know there are people out there that are convinced 100% that that stuff is all 100% fake. And it's like, yeah, maybe you're right. But to know, I don't, I don't know. So I just, I let it, my current philosophy is I'm not going to know. I don't know for sure anything, so... Maybe a UFO did crash. Maybe octopus and squid are alien. Maybe the, the Earth was seeded by some kind of asteroid. Maybe those were the other things. And the other things! If you play his speech backwards... ...seven times... ...but then you also link it up with 2001 A Space Odyssey... ...you find out what the other things are. It's true. And you gotta play Pink Floyd... ...to The Wizard of Oz. Also, at the same time, you need to boof Jenkum. You need to goon Jenkum. But yeah, I think, well, there are clearly some things like I, you know, the JFK assassination, going back to that, I don't know why we're talking about this, but that is an interesting topic when you look into it, even though I have no clear answers. 
But, you know, some stuff, it can be, like, easily dismissed as conspiracy theory, but that doesn't mean there aren't some weird happenings. Like the moon landing someone mentioned in chat. There's a lot of weird stuff that was, like, you know, photos that were damaged and weird shadows. I am convinced we've been to the moon. But when you compile all of the weird, like, anomalies, and you have, like, a dude with, like, a deep voice go, Is it possible we have not been to the moon? over, like, a documentary, and you show clips of presidents shaking hands with, like, weird people. I, I- maybe I'll believe we didn't go there, I don't know. Maybe Stanley Kubrick got us there, in film only. My favorite conspiracy theory is that we went to the moon, but all the film was damaged, so that someone had to, in a studio, reproduce it, which is why some of the early moon footage looks like shit, and potentially looks fake. I, I like that one the best, because I do think it happened, but I also think maybe we were incompetent. Like, you know, I love um, the equivalent. Like, we went to the moon on the equivalent of, like, today's calculator. I don't know the quote. It's like you have more processing power in your pocket, which is uh, your penis, or whatever you have, um, than we had processing power in the lunar module and lunar lander, you know? So, to me, it doesn't strike me as out of the realm of possibility that perhaps we lost the footage. Hitler is in the hollow earth with dinosaurs and shit and giants, conspiracy theories. Yeah, that, that one is the Antarctic Nazi base. There's all kinds of bizarre World War II conspiracies and like, they developed a UFO, all the occult objects that he collected, and that they escaped to the Hollow Earth, and there's giants, and some admiral went through the middle of the Earth. We've had the conspiracy discussion. As a kid, it was fascinating. I had a conspiracy book for, like, just bizarre shit like this. And I think that's why I got into it, because that and, like, you know, documentaries were just fun to watch as a kid. And life was kind of boring, because it wasn't like in my video games, where, like, the sci-fi and fantasy stuff was happening. So I kind of wanted to believe there was more to this life than just, like, you know, paying taxes and then dying. So, of course, it was attractive to me, as a kid with a big imagination, to think that, that maybe the Earth was hollow and there was dinosaurs in there, dog. Here's a conspiracy. White Castle doesn't use real meat. They use garbage that's processed over and over and over again into a meat-like patty, and then they just flavor it. Someone said, I'm eating that right now, what the fuck? I Chat member, I'm sorry that you're eating White Castle right now. <laughs> Your intestines are also sorry. I had it recently, and let's just say it was not a good time. Sure, it tastes good. Like, Joel, we were jokingly going to take him to a White Castle. I don't know if there's White Castles in Manhattan, but, like, the idea was he doesn't have a White Castle in Sweden. And... Maybe it will be fun to show him this exclusive American fast food slop. It didn't happen, by the way. He missed out on the funny square burgers, that's right, he did. But we also, we were in Manhattan, so we had access to, like, so much good food. Vinny, the ladder, you missed the ladder. Oh shit. Alright, maybe I can do a retry. Or we can have a mulligan. A disgusting slop that gives you gas?! Vinny, you had diarrhea from a kazoo. See, now, now, you are incorrect, because I absolutely did not get diarrhea from a kazoo. That was a chat member that got diarrhea from a kazoo. And I told this story at PAX to... I think it was She Says and Ant Dude and Gilly. It's a very interesting story to tell people when they don't have the context, because you gotta provide a lot of context. Because there's no fucking planet in the solar system in which a kazoo would give someone diarrhea. The only conclusion that we came up with was maybe it is possible that someone that was handling the kazoo was sick. Like the quality assurance, someone like coughed on it or sneezed on it and they had diarrhea. So we went from real talk to conspiracies to JFK to diarrhea. If you had told me several years ago that I'd be a vending machine killing enemies with my cans, I'd probably believe you. Vinny, we're running out of things to talk about. Be depressed again. Be <laughs> yes! Get fucked! 
Now, was that Ramsey clip d d directed at the chat member or the boss that I just fought? It wasn't much of a boss, was it? Oh my lord. Oh god, the boss arena is tilted! Mm. Alright, let's enjoy the Kirby now. Something weird's happening. And here we are. You got your soul back. There's a little bit missing, but who's counting? Hi. All right, well, we got to beat the shit out of him first. Thwack. What is... Oh, that's weird. It's okay, you'll get your memories and soul back if we just beat you with a hammer. It works on electronics. Oh, that's not good. That was a big bang attack. That I should get on my soundboard. And here we are! Butterfly? Will it see the beauty in nature? Morpho Knight. Oh, like a Morpho Butterfly, right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. I've been saving that for four streams. That was my elixir. Ooh! Oh god, what happened? Kirby, you're drunk! Give me your keys! Who's your favorite Goku, says a chat member. Chrono. Here are all your friends that I've beaten the shit out of with hammers, blades, Lasers, bullets, fire, ice, crystals, bombs, for the past 10 hours. I'll tell you what though, this has more emotion than the Lion King remake. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. That, that's just utter fucking nonsense. And it can still be upgraded. This has lifesteal. I mean, I guess we're gonna do it. So let's do it now. Someone in chat said, attack JFK. Oh god, chat member, that is spicy. You can't, you... <laughs> we choose to go to the moon and do the other things. The other things was play Kirby. Too soon. It's It's been 70 years almost. Damn. Uh, I'm taking a little more damage than I would like. I got very careless because I just expected to, you know, cheese the game with this weapon. And it's, it's very, it's dangerously cheesy, but you, you have to still play the game. Uh, I'm gonna go to this one without a buff and hope that I win and get some extra HP in the process. Oh! Oh, man. Okay, now I'm gonna need some of those tomatoes. Tomat. One tomat. I think we can safely skate on one tomat. Oh, no! Oh, no! Where'd my sword go? Oh, it's right there. Sorry, but I'm gonna play the clip again. I know get, it's overused. I just, I just, it, perfect emotion for the moment. Oh shit! Here we go. One more fight, and here we are. Chaos, Alphalus. Oh no, <laughs> what's this shit? Is it over? There's still a sliver of health, what the fuck is happening? Oh my god. Here we are. And here we are. Oh no. Chet, this is not good. Oh, oh no. 
Oh, it's just gonna destroy a planet. Rocks. Meteors. No problem. Okay. I was... I was dodging. I was dodging! Vinny, you have to climb. Oh. Well, I haven't had to do that yet, so... Oh. Cock. I'm just gonna retry chat. I, you know what? Here we are. I'm glad we can retry, but... God damn it. There are previous Kirby games that give you true arena, and you cannot retry them. I think that's why they went, like, a little extra mental for the difficulty, is just like, yeah, well, they can retry, so we'll just make it... We'll make it harder than usual. Even though I remember some of those previous ones really kicking my ass, so... This is the first time they allow retry. Using ice ability is harder than using normal Kirby. Why- why would I do that, knowing that that was going to happen? And I'm very low on health now. Very even lower on health now. Ooh! Run! 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 No! <laughs> oh, the, in the cost is incremental. They saved the real damage for the second half of the fight. I wonder how many people here are watching this like, what the fuck? This is a Kirby game? Yeah. This is what happens in Kirby games. Like, just people who have never played the series that were like, it's Nintendo Kitty bullshit. And it is that for a good chunk of the game, and then there's like a couple parts of the game that they're just usually. God damn it! I'd really like to go into that fight with full health, but it's not happening now, is it? I just keep getting my ass fucking handed to me. Yep, no full health here. All right, yeah, yeah, the black hole at the start. Don't jump. I, I tried to slide away. Like the Oasis song, slide away! Slide away! Oh. And here we are. Oh no! Is there a way to use an amiibo to, to get my ability back? It can give power-ups. Oh. Cool damage we're doing here against this this god with tornado move. God damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I wouldn't have gotten rid of the sword if I if I knew that it was gonna... I thought it saved, like, the position, like, you, the power that you entered with, man. Ah, man, this, the next phase is just gonna be fucking garbage. I'm- I'm going to run out of tries. I have one more try after this. I bet that one chat member is just so happy I get to suffer. Can we not do that every time? Ah. Well, I can only hope the next try has better, um... Has a better ability. Sick. Yeah, second phase with no health.
If it's ice, I'm quitting. It's drill. Possibly even worse. I think you get some level of damage immunity when you're underground, but I'm already taking some fun damage, so I don't- I don't know. No, never mind. You- you, you can get right fucked up. Come on, Kirby. Just greed. It's pure greed. User death imminent. Vinny, use Amiibo. Which one would I use? Any of them. What? Whoa, 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 pause, pause, pause. Thank you. I am perfectly happy with my decision after this many attempts. Now let's see if I can deliver and not fuck this up. I'm gonna fuck this up. Sorry, use a new amiibo. I just- I just don't care anymore, chat. I already have no sense of pride and accomplishment for this fight. I mean, maybe if I kept the fucking Meta Knight thing, I would have just accepted defeat, but now I just don't care anymore. Vinny, think of this as a practice run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's over. There will be no official run. You cheated not only the game, but yourself. Yes! Vinny, it's okay, I used three amiibos. Oh yeah, well I used two. <sighs> Fucking 44 minutes. <laughs> I mean, it is a really, really good challenge. And I just wish it would have kept my, uh, my sword, but... Well, I did it. A new photo has been added to the wall of Kirby's house. There are ten photos in total. Play on, make a bunch of unforgettable memories. Master all things Kirby. Hey kid, you wanna buy some, uh, figurines? Wait, did I really just give a rare stone for one of these? That's kind of a terrible deal. But, you know, unless there's DLC for this game, I'm probably not gonna be playing it again, so... I just got fucking scammed. Just destroy Kirby's house real quick. Anyway, this was a very, very good game. Uh, having now completed it without paying to win. I thought it was great. I think it's one of the best games on the Switch. But that last challenge is something else. Something else. But the whole game was just solid. It delivered all the way through. And, uh... Do they have better equipment now? They can play new songs and perform on a nicer stage. I don't have enough to get them even better stage, but I'm- so I'm gonna just do this. Well, I look forward to what the Kirby series holds in the future, because if this is any indication, to me it's on the right track. It did, like, 3D, you know, um, full range of movement really well. So, yeah, 90%. I'm good. I got a lot out of this game, and I'm very happy with it. <clears throat> I'm done now. And that's Kirby in the Forgotten Land. If there's DLC, I will play it. Um, thank you for watching this.